Hello and welcome to our video channel, Hope for Ashbourne. I wonder if you remember playing, or still play, hide and seek. It's a fun game to play, whether you're playing inside the house and hide under the duvet or behind the sofa, or if you can play it outside and you dive behind a bush or a tree stump. You try and get out of sight and stay as still as possible and try not to make a sound. Easier than it sounds for small children. And there's that exciting feeling a twinge of adrenaline as you try and stay hidden from the other person. And sometimes you find that really good hiding place, just the perfect spot to remain hidden. Lots of people want a hiding place. Like hiding behind the sofa in a scary movie, many of us are scared and frightened of a virus, of sickness, of death. And lots of things in our society at the minute build up that sense of fear. Schools with their separated tables, shops with strict one-way systems, masks and perspex screens, worries about the NHS and the economy instill in all of us a sense of fear and a longing to be safe. We've been looking for the message of hope in the Bible. Right in the middle is the book of Psalms songs and poems that were written by a man called David and others too and they reflect our human experiences and the hope that can be found in God. Listen to this in Psalm 32. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. With so many dangers and threats that are out of our control God is the one who can protect and deliver us. God can be our hiding place. So we don't need to be afraid. We can even sing with songs of deliverance. I wonder if you've ever built a secret den. Since the schools were locked down, at least once a week we go to the local woods for an afternoon. And for eight weeks we've been working on our secret den. We found a discreet spot off the beaten path and we found a good place hidden by trees in the shape of a hill. Then we tied big branches together to make a structure and collected loads of sticks and leaves. It's even got a tarpaulin in it to keep you dry. Ish. Often we'll stop and have a drink or a snack, hiding in the den. The children won't even stay there the night. It's quite well hidden in the woods and camouflaged. And to keep it extra safe, the children have dug traps. There's a barricade along one side and pits that the unwary could fall in. You've been warned. For David, who wrote lots of the Psalms, there were many times that he was in fear of his life. Seriously. Not like us playing in the woods, but David was on the run from enemies. From people who wanted to kill him. We know from his story in the Bible that he had to hide in caves and woods and in the mountains. It might sound like an exciting adventure story, but I'm not sure I'd like it night after night in fear of my life. Whatever secret den David found in the woods or the hills, David knew his confidence was not in some place, but in God. He said this in Psalm 119, you are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. He knew God was the one who would protect and care for him. And his hope and confidence was in God's word. This Bible that we have is the message that God has given to us. And every bit of it is true. In our situation nowadays, we have a constant stream of news. We're warned about fake news. There's all sorts of contradictory ideas and reports. It's so hard to find the truth. But we can have confidence in what God says to us in the Bible, his word. Lastly, in Psalm 91, it says this, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Everyone longs to have a safe place. And the one place it can be found is in God. The picture is of a chick 
running to hide under its mother's wings, under the shadow of its mother's wings. And we're safe under the shadow of the Almighty, the Almighty, the All-Powerful One. Jesus, the Son of God, stretched out his arms on the cross. He died there for the wrong things that me and you have done. And we can find safety there at the shadow of the cross. If we ask Jesus to forgive us, we are safe and protected. We don't need to be afraid of death, for we have a secret hiding place. We know that we're safe under God's arms, as it were, forgiven by Jesus. You can find out much more in the Bible, and I hope you discover that hiding place that can be found in God. Please click to subscribe to our channel and message us if you have any questions and want to find out more. Thanks for watching, and we'll hopefully see you again soon with another video.